the goose egg by Liz Wong. Henrietta loved quiet. She savored the stillness of the morning as she sip, sipped her Darjeeling. She loved the soft rustle of the newspaper as she turned its pages. And more than anything, she loved the lake. The lake could be noisy on the surface. But once Henrietta slipped below the surface, there was only the faint murmur of the water. She lost herself in her thoughts. Sometimes she got a little too lost. Boink! Henrietta's thoughts scattered. She went home to collect herself. She gently felt her sore head. What a lump! A real goose egg! So she bandaged her head and kept quiet waiting for the bump to heal. Until... Crack! She felt the top of her head. She felt something soft, something fuzzy, something like... A baby goose? Mama! Oh my, that was a real goose egg. Henrietta ran back to the lake, found a nest, and carefully placed the goose egg inside. Henrietta waited and waited. Mama? I'm sure your mother will be back soon. But no mother bird appeared. Henrietta couldn't just leave poor Goose alone. She scooped her up and took her home. From then on, Henrietta's quiet was shattered. Mornings were splashy instead of still. The newspaper didn't rustle. It ripped. Something needed to change. And as Goose got bigger, she only got noisier. Honk, honk, honk. Henrietta realized she had to teach Goose to behave like a proper goose. So Henrietta hatched a plan. She showed Goose how to look for food, how to follow along, how to flap her wings, how to hang on, hold on tight, here we go, and how to let go. You're flying! When Goose was grown, it really was time for her to go. Bye, Goose. You'll do great out there. Henrietta's house was quiet again, but she found that she didn't like the quiet so much anymore. When she dove into the dark, she lost, she lost herself in her thoughts. She just felt lost. And at night, she dreamed she heard Goose honking. Then one day, the honking was real. Baby Goose, you're a mama goose now. Honk, 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 honk. Henrietta loved those noisy goslings, and the quiet was even better than before. The end. <laughs>